In this channel, we have a tradition where I suit up for the finale episode, but still no pants. And you know why? Because this is a hobby, not a job. Let's begin. Beatrix versus Shadow. But is there going to be another twist? And Iris really got dumpstered, barehanded by Mundane Man. I mean, it's not her fault. Is it her fault? Hell no. She just, just the power gap is too much. It's, I feel bad for her because she had like everything to lose here, right? Oh, this is like the moments before. So sad. I'm sorry, Iris. Bruh. Bruh, he didn't even move. He was just standing there menacingly. Saves his beautiful lady. No, beautiful swordsman? What did he say? When he saved Oriana in the past episode, I remember the one time my beautiful something. Oh, I saw all of that. The Shadow Garden helped. Yeah, he's related with Alpha. Yes. Yeah, you saw the Eye of Atomic. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. Would she get upset at this? Wait, Iris coming back? Wait. Hold up. Let her come. Wait, is she actually going to start fighting again? The advent of the demon. No opening this episode. You know if there's no opening in an anime episode, it's going to get real. Claire. Claire, are you going to do something? or? I don't know what she... She's probably just looking for Sid. She's probably just here to just like be more young than Sid, man. This offers nothing to the plot, which is sad, but it is what it is. <laughs> so fast. I want to say that Beatrix only offered to fight because... Not that she wanted to protect Lord Pervasat, but more like... Oh, a strong person. I'm interested. Oh! Nothing personal, kid! I was so fast, I didn't hear anything! But she still reacted. Bro, he's just walking! He's just walking! The difference in power! <laughs> Look how casually he's just doing it with one arm. He's behind every time! Dude, the war goddess Beatrix, right? I mean, we know how strong a shadow is, but... And then you were behind. How? Iris. Is she really gonna try? She got that sword. She picked it up. But you were nothing before. With this, can you really be stronger? What would this do? It's gonna make her strong enough to fight, maybe? Underhanded. It means it's probably really strong and cheap. Like, not cheap as a weapon, but... It's gotta be, like, OP. Your pride! It's not existent. Flame sword. Okay. Okay, flame Excalibur... Wait, it's already gone. Didn't do anything. Come on. Even with this, it's not enough, huh? I mean, that's to be expected. Yeah, it looks really cool, but... <laughs> it's just a party trick to Shadow, and he's just blocking without even looking. They got their own fight going on. I was just, like, trying to, you know, interject and do some shit too, but it's like... She's just doing party tricks. I don't know. What does Oriana do from here? Get Lord Perv Asa? I don't know. Alpha? She kind of talked in that different, like, auto-tune voice where it sound, almost sounded like I have atomic kind of moment. Behind. No look, Perry. Ah. I just feel so bad for Iris. Because she had everything to lose, and now she just lost in front of everybody. Wait! Are we gonna get a wrench? <laughs> okay, not the wrench. It's, it's the weapon that he used in the first episode, remember? The crowbar? Oh my god! <laughs> Bro, she's like using this mithril blade with like, with all these runes and flames, and he's like, this wrench, perfect! I mean, sorry, a crowbar! This is so ridiculous. <laughs> My ancient mithril blade. And he's like, oh, crowbar. This thing has potential. But this is how the anime started. With the crowbar, dude. Oh my god, he's dual wielding. 
He's dual wielding. Oh. What are you gonna do? That's up to you, isn't it? That's up to you right now. Oh, good line, Alpha. Come on. Come on, we can do it. Yes, remember. <laughs> the burger wrapper. You still have it, right? Oh, and him too. Yes. I am worthy. We can hardly hear anything. The rain's drowning out everything. It's probably intentional design. I can't believe it. He's still... Who are you, huh? I'm the shadow. I'm the shadow. <laughs> Bro, he's dual wielding a crowbar. She has like this ancient mithril blade, and there's a war goddess, Beatrix. Yeah, you gave us burgers, and I gave you burgers. I never forget a powerful opponent. Because <laughs> you're not powerful. Oh, the disrespect. Then again, they never actually fought, you know, a shadow. Oh. Oh. He's waterbending. He's waterbending. Anything goes. What are you talking about? You got the cheap ass sword. Again, it's really cool and flashy, but all it's doing is putting the pedestrians in danger. You're not hitting him. Bang. Ah. You know, I'm still impressed though. Only, uh, like, Iris is still fighting. Like, she's in contention. Even though Shadow's not going all out, it's better than her mundane man performance, right? No, a crowbar! No! We can get another one, right? Whoa, she can walk on water. Oh, Anne Rose! Behind you! Behind you! No! Behind you again. You know, Beatrix is kind of keeping up, though. Almost as good as we are. What you're gonna do behind you? Another flame attack. Again, amazing. Amazing, like, it's very flashy, but, like... Is it gonna do anything? Bro, he really blocked that with his fist. Like, ridiculous. Just try. Oh! Oh, this animation right now. Damn! Wait, what? The sword! He saw through it, but it was still part of the plan, right? She's glowing. She's glowing! <laughs> still not enough, still not enough. <laughs> Man, handling that. Oh no! <laughs> this is so epic. <laughs> Keep their hand and just disarm them! I am atomic. I... Okay, maybe not now. It's too much, right? It's too much, right? I mean, to be honest, he saved a lot of people. He just happened to nuke cities. Yeah, he, he did do that. He did do that. Yes. Yes, absolutely. You think that shit matters? You think that shit matters? Are you sure you want to do this? Declare Shadow Guarding your enemies? This is just ridiculous to him. He's just laughing. Like, really? You think that shit matters to us? Maybe he wants it to be that way. <laughs> He's probably planned out and practiced and rehearsed this laugh right now. Yes, yeah, this is the perfect moment for my villain laugh. Oh. Why run? Who's running? Oh. Kind of... Uh, what kind of magic is this? Is he about to nuke this shit? Isn't this the kind of effects that he did against Xenon in episode 5? You know what's about to happen, right? This is wide. <laughs> 
This is so wide. This range. The all range. Do the thing. Do the thing. Yeah, it's game over, huh? You re you re you realize this, right? <laughs> this laugh, man. <laughs> this evil laugh. <laughs> Really kill them though. It doesn't make sense plot wise to kill them all. I, I still want to see it though. I still want to see it though. I think Beatrix just like said, Yeah, it's over. Um. Say it. Say. Wait, what? The kids said it! Bro, I mean, there's so many variations of I am Atomic you can do, right? You have to change it up a bit. Wait, what? Wait, what? It's a fake, right? This is all for show, right? You wouldn't actually nuke the city, right? And he's just gone? So he did all that! Just so he could escape? Like, gotcha! Oh, thank God. Iris still hasn't had enough. Just absolute despair. Knowing like, she's just so far and like powerless. Even though she's so strong, still powerless compared to someone like Shadow. It's not your fault! You're not the main character! Oh, never mind. Oh, wait! It's her! Remember! The the I forgot her name. I'm so sorry, but... She is obsessed! She's gonna be Shadow's, like, arc nemesis or something? Probably not. I don't know. She didn't get to see Alpha at the end. That's kind of sad. I wanted them to reunite. It'd be so nice. Or maybe she's in the train right now? Uh, probably not. Oh, but you got some burgers from Sid. Yeah, she kept the burger out for two. Epsilon. Stacking it as usual. Oh, oh my god. God, Beta, Jesus Christ. Is your eyesight that great that you can see him from up there? Really? She found him? Potato, you're back! Where were you? At home, right? Skill got taken by, like, the government for borrowing too much money, I think. Yeah, he's gotta pay off his debts. He's so tanned. Bro, you gotta pay off your insurmountable debt. Huh? Who is this? Oriana's visiting our family's household. She still has the burger wrapper, man. She's gonna keep it forever. <laughs> and they're playing Moonlight Sonata to finish this episode. Wow. Base of operations. So she's really just... Not just, an, oh, she's an honorary member, but like, I want her to get the suit, the slime suit. Where's the skin tight slime suit? So many other characters. Lambda. I don't think I've met her just yet. New recruit. So she's really officially part of the gang? <laughs> That's her name now? <laughs> Wait, slime suit time. Slime suit time. This is such a drill sergeant boot camp style. <laughs> No, the burger wrapper! No! Anything but that! Does she have to strip that away too? Does she have to give all the way? I mean... Oh, no, but... It's fine. It's fine. Look how much she's trembling at that. No! No, not the burger wrapper! Oh, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. See, we're getting closer to Sid, technically. It's fine, it's fine. I can't believe I'd attach to that burger wrapper, bro. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the finale of The Eminence and Shadow Season 1, 20 episodes. What a nice treat that we had. It carried over from the past season, too. It's probably going to be one of my favorite animes of this season and the past season. If not, I mean, first episode, too, right? What a shock. What a twist. It left such a strong impression. I was like, can they really keep this shit up? Can they really do it? And, of course, they did it. Episode 5, the I'm Atomic scene, blew me away, literally and metaphorically. Goddamn, it was such a fun watch. But, as all good things must come to an end, so has this series. 
But hey, there's plenty of more animes to watch. I hope to see you around. Until then, take care.